and his family is paying it forward to the Boxed Up Project, a nonprofit that is local and really uh, packed with meaning. Yeah, so it helps kids and teens who are experiencing grief by giving them a toolbox filled with items that really helps families address their loss. So uh, we got a lot of volunteers out front of the station, and Tess is helping out or guiding the way, maybe. Uh, let's check in, and uh, what a unique morning. It's great to see people doing something good. Absolutely, Olivia. You know what? You think about grief, and it's hard enough as adults, right, when we have to process something terrible in our lives. But imagine for kids. They don't know how to do that. So the Boxer Project is all about giving them ways to cope and ways to deal with that grief. And what's great about this, it's really got a lot of community and partners involved. So one of them is dose moving and storage. And um, what's really neat, Julie, is that you guys are actually going to be providing your services by driving up hundreds hundreds of these boxes to Texas. Talk about that. Yeah, so our family has had a experience with grief as we lost a child with cancer. So I know what grief is like and having also raising children, teenagers with grief. So when we heard about this project, it was a compassion project for us. And when we heard about Texas, we said, please let us deliver those boxes for you. We want to get these essential items into the hands of children and teenagers in need right now. And I can't think of a community that probably needs it more right now than Uvalde, Texas. So to see all these people out here volunteering, how does it make you feel? Oh, it's so heartwarming to see everyone just get together to provide a service to people who are grieving. What a, what a just meaningful way to spend a day and a meaningful way to serve our community. Thank you so much for what you guys are doing with dose moving and uh, dose moving and storage, donating their services to bring up those boxes.